What is going on, Brick fans? Today I have another Pokemon Mega Constructs review for you all, and I'm really excited because I'll be reviewing the Dragonite set. But before we get into the review, I've got a quick problem that I came across when building this guy. I wanted to share it with you all and hopefully we can find a solution. So let's take a look at Dragonite right now and figure out what exactly is wrong with him. And here he is, he's looking really cool. But one of the main points of the Dragonite set is that you're supposed to be able to flap his wings. And as we can see here, I'm turning the knob and nothing's flapping. So really quick, I'm going to open him up. I wasn't going to do this, but I got a comment on the speed build video saying that another person had this same problem. So it seems like this might be a common issue that's gonna come up for other people as well. So I'm gonna see if I can fix it on camera. And if it works, then we'll have video documentation of how to fix this thing. And if it doesn't work, well, that's gonna be pretty sad for Dragonite, and here's why. Okay, Dragonite, if you can't get your act together and start flapping your wings, you're gonna take a one-way trip down the stairs. You heard that correctly, I will be throwing him down the stairs at the end of this review if Dragonite cannot flap its wings. So let's get this thing fixed, shall we? Okay, so I'm really not seeing what's the problem with all the bricks on top of it because it's working fine just like this. I'm really not sure what went wrong when everything else is put on top. So let's see if it works once all the bricks are on. Okay, so I think I figured it out. I think that if you have him standing upright, it's not gonna flap. It relies on gravity so when he's laying down and even that's not some that's not even some great flapping right there Okay, so we did indeed figure out what the problem was, and it has nothing to do with the construction of the set. It's simply the case that if you're standing him upright, he's really not going to do a whole lot. But when that mechanic has gravity on its side, it's actually going to really do its job a lot better. See, that's barely anything right there. But with here, you can clearly tell that it's doing a lot more flapping. Now this isn't as much flapping as I would have liked to see from this set, honestly. I guess that's all we're gonna get. So Dragonite, you barely got a passing grade on your ability to flap your wings, so I'm not going to throw you down the stairs. All right, now that that bit of turmoil is out of the way, let's start this review. So here we have the fully built Dragonite. Of course, it's got some arm articulation. We can do the wing flap leg articulation very little though and a really nice tail with uh, full articulation all the way down of course the head we can move that thing and open the mouth now with this build i think that there's a lot that mega could have done to improve on it this is certainly an improvement from their original Dragonite, but for me, there's still a lot that would need to be done for this to be a really good model. Honestly, I don't really like this model that much. The original Dragonite is definitely worse, way worse, but there's still quite a bit that I would like to have seen them change. But before we get into that, let's start with the positives. And in order to do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the original Dragonite to compare what we've got right now. 
So here it is. It's a battle of the Dragonites. Dragonite original model versus the new model. And as we can see, there's a lot similar between the two. We've got these arms that are basically identical to the new Dragonite arms. And this is one of the big issues that I did not like about the original build. So I also don't like it for this build either. I think these arms are too plank-like. It's like a, a wooden board. He's got wooden boards for arms. I just don't like the look. Now the legs and feet are serviceable. As you can see, we have the same legs and feet, exactly the same, no changes whatsoever. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with them. Actually, I just spotted a change. There's one change. We've got studs over here and this one is actually flat. I don't know why we've got studs there because the flat one actually looks better. So I'm gonna be swapping those out. Now, one of the things on the original model that I really did not like was the horn. Look at this thing pointing forward. What is that? So this new model definitely did a lot better by having a straightened horn. However, they did give an extra end of the tail piece in my set. So I'm gonna be swapping out that horn for this because I still don't like that it's not smooth. It's still two pieces there. Of course, we kept these little swirly things, these little bug antennae. I don't know why Mega decided to keep those. Those really bothered me on the original model and it's not looking any better on the new model. Dragonite does not have these little grooved antennae. So I really don't know what they were thinking and the, the extra swirliness of them is just really off-putting, but I guess that's just something I'm going to have to live with for now. So of course the big change with this new Dragonite is going to be with the wings, and that is a huge change. I absolutely love the new wings for Dragonite, these old wings. I also had a problem with, so I'm really glad they changed that up. These look, just look much better. It's a more mature looking Dragonite. It definitely goes a long way to make him actually look like the character. But another big change that I actually did not expect to see was with the tail. And as we can see, this new Dragonite has a much longer tail. It's also built a lot better too. We can see this one barely gets any articulation. This new tail is a lot better it's got a bigger base and it really narrows out a lot better than this one we can see it's like not lining up to where it should be so overall this new model is a lot better than the old I do much prefer it. However, it's still got those problems that I really don't like about it. I also don't like that these claws are rounded. I wish we could have gotten different claws for his feet. But overall, this is definitely a serviceable build for Dragonite. It's clearly a major improvement to the original. And of course, that original Dragonite is probably really hard to find at this point. So I really don't have an issue with Mega re-releasing Dragonite and giving him new features. The only problem I'd say is that they didn't go far enough. But for me personally, it's enough of a change to get me excited about this set. This is honestly probably how he should have originally come out as. I would have definitely preferred this version over the one we got. But of course, let me know what you guys think of the Dragonite set in the comments. I think the last big criticism I'm going to give for this set is the fact that these wings really don't do a whole lot of flapping. Put aside the issue of Dragonite standing up, not really doing much, that's fine. If that's the way the mechanic works, I'm okay with that. The fact that when he's laying down, he still doesn't do a whole lot is not a good look. Of course, that's kind of like the main gimmick for this set so that's really disappointing to see that it really doesn't do a whole lot but since i don't personally care about the movement stuff and i'm much more interested in the actual pokemon it's not really that big of an issue for me personally so i would definitely recommend this set even if you have the original dragonite there is definitely a lot in the new model to like and it's most certainly a more faithful representation of the actual character so guys that's gonna be all for this review 
Next video, I'm gonna be showing all of this wave put together. So that's the windmill set, the Zubat set, of course the Dragonite, and then that Piplup ice set as well. We're gonna be looking at all of them put together and taking a look at their movement parts. So that's what I've got for you guys in the next video. And of course, if you like this video, hit that like button. It helps a lot for the YouTube algorithm. And if you like Pokemon Mega Constructs, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments. I'm always down there interacting with you guys, and I always look forward to that. So I will see you all in the next video. Take care.